this video, I'm going to be giving you a free mini scheme out of the Detroit Lions offensive playbook. And if you guys want to check out my full Detroit Lions offensive ebook, it's going to be in our school community. Cool.com slash Cody Ballard for just 10 bucks. You're going to get access to all of our offensive and defensive ebooks over there, as well as any of the updates to anything that we do that is new. Now, a couple audibles that you want to set in your playbook before you get on the field. You want to have motion Y post. This is in the trips, tight end flex, motion Y post, tight end in, halfback angle, and PA shot crossers. And then you're going to be coming out in bunch X nasty. Now, the audibles you want to have for this is motion Y corner under motion RPO zone alert, motion halfback choice, and corner out dig. Now, for this scheme, you want to be coming out in your bunch to the short side. And if you want to stay in bunch, you're going to flip your play. And if you want to go to trips, you're just going to audible to trips. So it's going to take advantage of kind of the audible around stuff. So as you see here, I'm in short side bunch. And I want to show you the main reason why this formation and really this, this scheme here as a whole is being ran by so many people in the comp community. Because what a lot of people are doing, one of the best coverages in this game is cover to man. And what we'll do is we'll flip this. A lot of nickel sets, this is going to misalign their main coverage. And a simple setup like this is really difficult to defend. So the reason this is so good is because if they do run shaded down man coverage, this cheat motion, this cheat wheel is always going to beat shaded down man coverage. And it's also always going to beat cover two. So you have a really nice play in it where you're basically forcing your opponent to have to run cover three or cover four. So you see here, let's say that they run some cover two. And let's just say, for example, that they leave this cloud flat out here. If they leave this cloud flat out here, again, this is the setup that I would use. You're going to see here that this seam streak is going to hold the deep half in the middle of the field, while this outside sheet motion wheel is going to be a big play against cover two. What a lot of people will try to do to kind of help defend the cheat motion plays is they will soft squat this outside cornerback. This is good if you do not put your running back on a route, but because we're putting our running back on this flat route to the right side, you're going to see that that soft squat zone is going to bite on the running back flat, and then you're going to be able to throw this over the top for a huge play. So again, we kind of force them into running a lot of zone, and if they try to stay in man coverage, even if that man coverage is not uh, cover to man, right? Let's just say, for example, they get a little adjusty with their man coverage and they do some things that are going to try to kind of basically defend defend this. If they do some things that actually, you know, do defend that route combination, um, you're going to have other things possible for you to be able to beat man coverage. So you're going to see here, while they have that covered over there, now they don't have the tight end post or the slant on the back end covered against man coverage. Another way in this playbook that you can beat man coverage really, really easily is by going to trips tight end. Why? Well, because we have that same kind of cheat motion. So we're going to go to trips tight end flex here, and we're going to go to the play motion Y post. And basically what we're going to do is we're going to stem this little whip all the way down, and we're going to snap the ball quick. As you see here, if they're in that cover to man type of situation, you have that, that cheat motion that they're going to have to respect but you also have the tight end post that is one of the best man-beating routes in the game. And again, if they're running any kind of other man coverage by going to trips tight end, it's just going to give man coverage a ton of issues. A simple setup that you can also use here is just a simple slant on this guy that's over here. Now you have that fade, you have that slant, you still have that tight end post, Champ Bailey plays out of his mind, and then we also have that return route. So. This is going to give man coverage a ton of issues, and there's really just not a great way to play man coverage against this playbook. And man coverage, in my opinion, I think in a lot of people's opinion, is probably the best base coverage to play this year, but it struggles against stuff like this. So now we've taken away you know, their ability to play man coverage, and we've kind of forced them to play the game how we want to play it. And again, if, if they're running a lot of man coverage, you know, one of the best things that you can do in, in cover to man is go to a simple setup like this and you know just essentially tack cover two man like this as well with this, this shade 
you'll see here that that post is going to be open. And if the post is not open, then, you know, typically your, your deep zone is open. Let me show you this one more time. I don't know why the defense is actually playing this kind of crazy. We'll show it to you one more time out of this trips. And again, literally all you have to do is just snap the ball. Um, you don't really have to do anything. You can stem this zig all the way down. It'll make it be a little quicker. Normally this cheat motion there, you see, there's the bump. I was kind of wondering why I wasn't bumping, but the cheat motion is always going to pretty much beat man coverage. And then if the, if let's just say hypo, hypothetically, right, let's just say they're doing this off coverage, but then they're shading underneath. So it's kind of bagging some of your other stuff. Now you have this play tight end in. And with tight end in, what the main reason we're calling the play is because we have um, we have the streak route here to the left side. So what I like to do with this is we're going to use a, a comeback on the outside or a speed out. And then we have this tight end and we have this wheel. Uh, kind of do it however you want to. But what I like to do here is something, something like this, essentially. And if they're doing this backed off, you know, shaded down man coverage, then you're going to be able to attack it with this tight end drag. You're going to be able to attack it with the seam streaks, all the things in this formation. Another way that we can attack kind of that shaded down man, as well as a lot of coverages out of this trips tight end flex formation, is this play halfback angle. Uh, basically, to set this up, you're going to drag your tight end, you're going to flat your outside guy, and you're going to streak your inside trips receiver. So our middle trips receiver is the flat route. And then if they're in that shaded down or shaded cover to man, you see how you can't really do that against stuff like this. And again, this is just a touchdown waiting to happen against one of the best coverages in the game. So back to kind of forcing people into coverages that they don't want to be in, right? Like zone. Um, another thing that you can do here is again, you just flip your play and then you could run a, another combo like this which is pretty good and effective for beating zone. So if they're running a lot of zone, we might run something like this. This is pretty good against cover three and cover four. As you're going to see that this corner route is going to, they're going to struggle to be able to defend this corner route to that side of the field uh, within this play. Now our base setup out of motion cross post also attacks cover three and cover four really well. So if they are running cover three or cover four, you're going to have this seam streak and then really this, this slant is going to get into a nice spot of the field. i got to throw that running back flat as well. The running back flat is really just there to pull zones. It's also there, though, if they're playing super undisciplined, you can just take your simple flat route. So you'll see here, like, if they're not, if they're not shading underneath, we can just throw this simple flat route. And a lot, a lot of times in this game, you'll break that first tackle, and you'll be in a position where, you know, they're going to have to respect that. So now... They're going to shade underneath. They're going to play cover three hard flat, cover four hard flat type of coverages. And this is where this, I think, gets really good because once we get them to do something like that, then we can throw this slant route over in this area of the field, which makes that a, a, a route that you're going to have to switch to, a route that you're going to have to respect. And then simultaneously, while you're having to respect that route, let's say they're switch sticking to that or they're doing something to go guard that, now backside here, this is going to open up kind of that backside middle area of the field where we can kind of throw this tight end. I'll have to show that a little bit better. These hook curls are playing out of their mind. And again, obviously, most people are going to be sending four out of their coverage. And most people are not going to have their yellow zones, you know, run 10 yards backwards. Uh, they're going to shade them underneath. So you'll see here, you know, against kind of that more shaded underneath standard yellow, this is going to get way more open. As you can see, that tight end kind of get into that soft area of the field. And then another thing that you can do occasionally, right? Let's just say you want to be simple here. You could run a combo like this. And if they're if they're ever just not shading or they're just, you know, really getting their back there with their yellows, we'll just throw these little drags all day long. These drags are super open in this offense. Another play that you can run out of this is motion Y corner under. You're just going to flip the play. You're going to drag this outside guy and you're going to streak the slot. You can send the tight end down one if you want. You don't really have to here. This is another really good way that we can just take advantage of kind of those yellow zones in this game being really bad. And we could just throw that little return route against zone. Going to be open majority of the time. Another good play here is this motion halfback choice play. It has this real glitchy streak route to the left side. We're just going to do a combo like this 
You can stem this corner down one if you want to, you don't have to, or just a simple backside drag on the solar receiver. But basically what this is gonna do is if they are running more of a cover three based coverage, they're gonna see here that this can take advantage of that. And you'll see that this, um, this tight end post or even the seam streak you know, can actually cook cover three. And of course, um, I don't know if I rolled the wrong way or what. Let's see if we can fix that. But this is something that you can have against cover three. Against most people. Yeah, I think I just rolled wrong. And again, if we leave the corner route, it'll be a little better. So again, motion halfback choice. You're going to flip the play. And then if you want to stem this guy down, let's see if he actually stems down. I don't know why he's not. You can just put him on a regular corner and stem him down like this. And then maybe send the post up one, like so. Okay. And what you'll see is against cover three, you see that this post is a nice option for you against cover three. So you have a lot of good plays in this, in this little uh, kind of mini scheme here. Another thing you have in this playbook that is really good is this PA shot crossers. If you're wanting to start to kind of, because again, you're kind of forcing them to run cover three or cover four. And so these are plays that I would use to kind of take advantage of those coverages. So this would be an example of a really nice setup that does a really, really good job of taking advantage of cover three, right? So this has been one of the best bombs against cover three for a while. And you'll see that this receiver, you can just kind of cut this off before he gets to that quarter. And normally, if it's more of a cover three coverage, we'll show uh, we'll show you how this can really take advantage of specifically a cover three. So again, if they are in cover three, this will be a great play to use. Something like this. And then watch this cross against kind of that cover three. You'll see he's just going to cross the face of the middle third. And it's going to give cover three a ton of issues. Another thing you have in here is you have this motion RPO alert. This is really good play. You can stem this out route all the way up and turn it into a streak. And then really you're looking out here. This flat's almost always open. You can just throw this quick. And guess what that forces them into? Forces them into that cover two or cover three or even a man coverage on that side, which they obviously don't want to be in. And then based on obviously, you know, just how the game is, you know, how, how things are going in the game and what they're doing pre-step, occasionally you can try to hit this. You see how against man, it gets misaligned and you can just quick throw this out route like a seam streak. So it's kind of a decent little RPO play. And of course, if, if everything else looks bad, you can just hand the ball off. You don't have to pass. Um, you can just let the game hand the ball off for you. And it'll just basically be like an inside zone play. And the cutback is really good against dollar. So this is the Lions playbook and really a simplified, um, a little bit more of a simplified variation of this. But this is really good against a lot of stuff. Um, another play that I think is kind of underrated in this combat or in this in this playbook is this setup out of tight end in with the C route. I really like the C route and you can use a drag on the backside. So if you want to do something like this. But this C route against like hard flats is really, really nice because it's hard to switch stick C routes in this game. And I think C routes are a little bit better against zone than speed out. You could, if you wanted to on this tight end in play, you certainly could speed out him. It's just, I think speed out the timing is just a little challenging, right? But essentially just pass lead this outside. And as you see, I mean, it's just a hard throw. I think those speed outs are hard to throw in these trip sets a little harder than a little harder uh, in my opinion than like a than like a C route because C route just longer developing but if you want to use these speed outs you know you just throw this to the sideline possession catch it and that time I didn't even pass lead and it was able to work out for me so you have that you just have a lot of stuff in this in this offense and then for kind of good measure you also have a uh, tight open and you can go to kind of some two by two compression type of stuff. This corner out dig play is another one that we didn't even quite get into. But again, if you're getting a lot of cover two to this bunch side, this would be a combo that's not terrible against this, right? This corner is gonna do a really good job of attacking cover two to that sideline. Not really good against cover three or cover four, but it just makes it so that it's hard to run cover two on either side. And now you're really forced into Kind of that cover for coverage on both sides 
uh, which I think is really, really, really difficult to run in this game. Another simple play that I think is pretty good would be something like this. Fairly simple setup here, but mainly the biggest thing here is you got that cheap motion. And then really what you're looking for is this post route coming across the middle, just something a little bit different. But this is the Detroit Lions mini scheme that I think is just super good right now. And it's just very difficult, very difficult for them to stop this, this little mini scheme here. So if you guys want to check out my entire Lions offensive ebook, it's going to be in the description down below. But this is probably, I think, going to be the clear-cut meta for a while. Just because um, the auto motion plays are so effective in this game. And this probably has the best combination of them.